Hello, doers. I'm Jose Ignacio, and today I'm going to walk you through the wonderful world of subscriptions with deliveries. I'm going to show you how to set up a subscription product with automatic billing and recurring deliveries. Say you're a florist who wants to find a fun and attractive way to repackage unsold inventory before you toss it. I know I am. That's why I've decided to inject a little whimsy into the process. How, you might ask, by using those leftover flowers to create a custom flower bouquet subscription product. That way, I can move some product I would otherwise just have to write off as a loss, and local businesses can get day-old flowers delivered weekly at a fair price. That's more than a win-win. That's the promise of Stealthy Stems. Stealthy Stems, a wholly owned subsidiary of Stealthy Wood. Now to turn Stealthy Stems from one man's dream into an international flower delivery empire, there's a few steps we have to take care of first. We're going to need to set up our database for subscriptions and deliveries, create a subscription product, choose our delivery method, and finally create a subscription quotation. Once we're done, we'll be able to sell subscriptions for our flowers, have them shipped to our customers' doors, and rest easy knowing that quotations, invoices, and delivery orders are all automatically handled week to week. So, let's get started. Enough chit-chat. When it comes to deliveries, there are some moving parts that we need to handle before we can handle the parts we're moving. So first things first, we need to install two very specific apps to make this work. Subscriptions over here, which allows us to create and manage subscriptions. And inventory over here, which allows us to add shipping information to quotations and to automatically create delivery orders from when invoices are created. So once that you've installed those, you're also going to want to go into the settings application over here. You're going to search for the word delivery. Make sure the box next to delivery methods is ticked and that you save before heading forward. Now, once that we do all of this, this allows us to add the cost of our shipping to our quotations and invoices. So with all of this set up, we're going to need a product to sell as well. Let's move on over to our subscriptions application. We're going to select products and then products once again, and then new up at the top. Great. So you'll notice we're at the product form, but because we got here via the subscriptions application, it's already ticked off right there. But there's more that we've got to do before we're ready to make our millions by selling flowers. So we're gonna name this. So the word flower, so I'm gonna go with flower fun box. I can't think of a good name for a container that starts with F. Flower fun folio. Okay, we're gonna workshop that, but let's adjust a few more settings. So we're gonna set the product type over here to goods because we're selling a physical good. Now we're only going to offer the flower fun box as a weekly subscription product. Customers won't be able to just walk into Stealthy Stems and buy one. So we don't need to set a sales price over here. Instead, because the flower fun box is a subscription product, the recurring prices tab over here appears. So what does it do? It lets us create a specific recurring plan for this product. So let's click into there. Okay. So we want our subscription to be a weekly one. So we're gonna select that align over here and we're gonna type in the word weekly. Turns out we don't have one for that, but that's okay. Now we can create and edit one. So the very first thing I need to change is the billing period for a weekly one isn't one month, it's one week. Perfect. Now we're gonna hit save and then reopen it. Hmm. And the reason I did that is, would you look at that? The pricing tab over here happens to already have our flower fun box, but you'll see that the price starts at $0 per week. Can't run a successful business with no income. So let's set the rate price at, I think in this case, we're gonna set it to $30. Perfect. All right, $30 per week sounds good for old flowers. Okay, we're pretty much set. And now one last step before we can create our subscription quotation. We have to create our delivery method. So remember how I said that the inventory app handles our logistics? It's time to set that up. We're going to actually go into the inventory application over here, and then we're gonna click on our configuration header right there, and mouse on over to delivery methods at the very bottom. So by default, there's only one delivery method available, standard delivery. Let's click into it for more details over here. So when you're looking at a delivery method, you can set limitations around weight, volume, destination, required internal tags, and much more. We're gonna dive into all of that in a future video, but for now, Stealthy Stems is still small, scrappy, and local. So we do the deliveries ourselves and don't need to worry about any of that. The only thing we're going to change here is our fixed price up in the top right. I'm gonna set that to 10 bucks. Save. 
That ought to cover the cost of gas for any of the deliveries that we make. Okay, finally, we're ready to create a quotation and deliver some flowers. So let's go out of here back home, open up the subscriptions app. All right, so by default, you're going to start on the subscriptions dashboard. So all you need to do is click the new button up at the top and presto, here's our nice little subscription quotation. So it looks the same as a non-subscription quotation because Odoo keeps the forms consistent, classy, consistently classy. So let's fill it out with essential details available as a handy dandy drop down menu over here for some of these because all of that setup we did. So customer, a product, and a recurring plan is what we need. So we're gonna select Fran Flower Lover because I know she's gonna love this. And then over here for a recurring plan, remember that weekly one that we did? Ooh, nice, perfect. So I want the flower fun box to make it to Fran on Monday. So I'm going to click on our other info tab over here. And you see where it says the subscription start date. I'm gonna set that to the upcoming Monday that we have right there. Perfect. And finally, the last step, we're going to go back over to our order lines over here. And we're gonna select our nice little ad shipping. Okay, we need our nice little flyer fun box. Perfect. Now we have our nice little ad shipping. And would you look at that? Now we can select our nice little easy shipping and we can add it because we are doing our nice little standard delivery. Perfect. So the total price for the quotation over here automatically updates and you can see a breakdown of recurring costs and non-recurring costs. That's the subscription and the shipping respectively. Everything looks good. Let's click confirm over here up at the top. And now we've turned that quotation into a sales order. Great. If you've seen the sales basics video, you know how this process works from starting at the dashboard to finalizing the sales order. But we're here to see how deliveries work. So let's go ahead and click on our delivery smart button up at the top. Great. This took us to our delivery order. Our delivery order is already in the ready stage over here which means we have enough stock to fulfill this order. If we didn't have enough stock, well, the order stage would be in progress instead. So in the form itself, you can already see we have our delivery address and the scheduled date that we happen to have is actually set to the day before our delivery start date. And the deadline is set to the day before our next weekly delivery would need to be delivered, just in case we're super late with getting Fran her flowers. Okay, let's click validate up at the top. and. We need to get Fran or flowers. So after we do that, the stage advances to the done stage and a delivery slip is automatically generated an email to Fran. You can see all of that over here inside of our chatter. Boom, redacting that. That's it. We've successfully created a subscription product, quoted a subscription, invoiced it and validated the delivery order. Stealthy stems is well on its way to global domination. Okay, Odoers, that covers the basics of subscriptions, deliveries, but that's not the end of the road for Stealthy Stems. We still need to invoice our customers for the flowers. If you wanna learn more about how to do that, check out our video on invoicing from a sales order down in the description. And if you want to dive deeper into working with third-party carrier services for deliveries, customizing shipping and recurring plan details, or integrating shipping and payment with your e-commerce website, check out the links over to our documentation. Thanks for watching, go grab a snack.